write a C++ program to merge two sorted array into a single sorted array. In this particular program, we are using the concept of merging two sorted array into a single sorted array. So in order to do this program, we are using a function which is named as merge. This merge function is used to merge two sorted array. So it takes parameters. The first parameter is the first array, which is named as A. And the second and third parameter LB1 and UB1 is the lower bound and upper bound of the array A. Similarly, the second array, which is named as B and its lower bound and upper bound, which is LB2 and UB2. Lower bound and upper bound indicates the starting and the last index place of that particular array. So we have first array, its upper bound, lower bound, next array and its lower bound and upper bound. First, we are creating a new array pointer variable that is used to combinedly store the content of the array A and B. So the size of the variable C, the size of the pointer variable C must be UB1 plus UB2 plus 1 because we are assuming that the lower index starts from 0. In order to write the logic for merging two sorted array A and B into a single one which is in C, first we are using two index variable i and j where i points into the first array which is A and j points to the second array B. So we initialize the value of i as lb1 and j as lb2 whereas lb1 is the lower bound of the first array and lb2 is the lower bound of the second array and k is for index of the new array which we are going to create which is c. First we are checking the value of i whether it is less than or equal to ub1 and the second pointer which is j whether it is less than or equal to ub2. As long as the both the pointers are less than its the maximum index that is i is less than ub1 and j is less than ub2. We need to keep on comparing the elements between the element present in a and element present in b. So if the element present in a is less than the element present in b, we store the element of a into the variable c and the index variable associated with the array A will be increased, that is i and k will be increased, which is associated with the index associated with the array C. Else, then the element of B will get stored into the array C. So C of k equals B of j and the pointer j will be increased. So in this logic, we are using two variable index variable i and j that i is pointing to the array a and j is pointing to the array b and k is pointing to the array c. Now if the while loop becomes false, that means one of the array has been completely transferred. Either the array a or the array B has been completely transferred into the array C, the while loop will become false. So we check whether I, the index variable associated with the first array, if it is greater than UB1, that means the first array has been completely transferred. If that is the case, we check whether J is less than UB2. As long as the value of j is less than ub2, the remaining element present in the array b will get copied into the array c and the index j and k will be increased by 1. Else we check, so we check if j is greater than ub2, that means b has been already transferred into the array c. Now 
the remaining element of the array A has to be transferred. So as long as the value of I is less than or equal to UB1, that is the last index, UB1 is the last index of the array A, each element, the remaining element of the A will get copied into the new array which is created C and the index of array A and C, both I and K will be increased by 1. In the method, after ending, we return the array, newly created array, which is the merge of the array A and B, which is C, that will be returned. A display method has been returned to display all the elements present in an array A with the starting index LB and ending index UB. By using a for loop, we display all the elements present in the array A as A of i, where i ranges from LB to UB. Where LB is the starting index of the array A and UB is the ending index of the array A. In the main method, two array has been initialized. We assume that the array X and Y are already in sorted order. Depending on the size of the elements present in the array X and Y, we are initializing the value of UB1. UB1 is the last index of the first array X and UB2 is the last index of the array Y. So UB1 is 5 and UB2 is 11 because LB1 and LB2 we are assuming that it's starting from 0. Each array has been displayed by using display method. First we display X and after that we display the array Y. The merge method has been called. It totally takes six parameters. The first one is the array, first array, its lower index, which is zero, its upper index, UB1. Next, second array, which is Y, its lower index is zero, and its upper index is UB2. Merge will merge both the array X and Y, and the merge array will get returned, and that gets stored into a point of variable Z. Merged array also will be displayed by using display method. After displaying 
the merged array, we delete all the pointer variable that is used to store the array x, y, and z by using delete. Execute and see the program output. 